Did you feel like it was a death sentence? Yeah. I mean, it was a, it was a death sentence. A local mother tonight talking, telling us that a cancer diagnosis turned her life upside down, as you can only imagine. But she called CBS 11 the ones for justice. Consumer investigator Alana Otler here to explain the rest of the story. That cancer was never even on this patient's radar, and she claims it was the hospital, not an illness, that caused her suffering. It's moments like this Christina Brothers thought she'd never see again. I literally was... Searching funeral homes and trying to figure out what would be the, the cheapest ways of burial. Last fall, brothers received the call that upended her world. Test results ordered after a regular doctor's visit. Brothers was a patient at Christus Trinity Mother Francis in Tyler. The concern was over masses in her abdomen. The biopsy showed that I had metastatic non small cell carcinoma, lung cancer. Two words that would rattle anyone, especially a mother of three who happens to be a nurse. You know, when you tell your kids that, hey, mom has got cancer, I mean, they cry. For six weeks, brothers underwent tests as doctors tried finding the cancer's origin. Literally every day it was going for a different doctor, different procedure. Missing milestones and memories. Rosie's birthday, her 13th birthday, I spent in the hospital getting another round of biopsies. To pay the bills, the family sold their travel trailer. They even considered moving out of their home. The emotional stress was definitely initially the biggest, most overwhelming thing. Yet it was a gynecologist who suspected something wasn't right. And when she ordered brothers to undergo more testing, new results revealed her first diagnosis was wrong. It was a huge, just overwhelming relief. Testing showed the masses in her abdomen were actually splenic tissue, remnants of a past splenectomy. Brother says the error was avoidable. The radiologist said that there was no mass within my spleen, which was just wrong because he should have noted there, there was not a spleen. And brother's nightmare could be more common than you think. Jessica Rangale works for the UNT Health Science Center. She says of all medical encounters, an estimated 15% result in misdiagnosis. The literature shows that the most common misdiagnosis is around cancer. Experts say diagnostic errors are more likely to come from outpatient offices, places where information can pass through a maze of doctors and technicians. That increases the chance that there could potentially be um, an error that takes place. Brothers dodged the diagnosis, but her ordeal was far from over. A year later, and I'm still getting residual bills from, from all this. It's kind of frustrating. She says she paid nearly $8,000 for tests, appointments, and procedures. Procedures. Do you think Mother Francis should answer to what happened in this situation? Yes, they should. They screwed up. These days, Brother says every breath is a blessing. But I love you. I love you too. And while she paid the medical bills, she says the emotional toll cost her far more. They owe me more than just, I'm sorry. A spokeswoman for Christus would not go on camera, but just this morning, we learned the hospital is asking to actually meet with brothers about her bills, her lost wages, and her fuel costs for visiting so many doctors. We'll keep you updated on what happens, and experts say the best advice if you get an unexpected diagnosis is to always ask for a second opinion, and that's exactly what brothers did in this situation. Yeah, that's what the, one thing that comes to mind, but so often you're, you're so shocked by the, by the one piece of messages you get, right? Or... It, it's hard to think in advance like that, yeah. but if you have questions, there's always a way to, to double check. Alana, thank you very much. If you need help, you can call Alana anytime. Our Ones for Justice hotline, the number 817 586 7211. Or if you prefer, email justice at cbs.com.